Is this one real? I don't know. Is this one real? I don't know. Oh. That's definitely fake. Hey everyone, I'm Morgan. And I'm Paul, and we are MTG North. And you had an interesting little problem last week, just before we headed out to the face-to-face -face show in Toronto. Yeah, it was, it was kind of crazy, to be honest. I was having a strange day, and I decided I was going to purchase a Judge Promo Smothering Tithy from, uh, from eBay. So I kept looking, and I kept looking, and I was looking for a cheap one. I finally come across a cheap one. Uh, it was coming from France, though. So, so this one right here... This came in like what Thursday or Friday before the show. Funny story, actually, somebody uh, got me one as a gift as well, and it arrived on Thursday before the show as well, the same day. So without saying which one's which, yes, yeah. and that's the back of that one. Yeah, that's the back of both of them. Okay, okay, and that's the front of both of them. So I would say without having the comparable. This would be a difficult decision for you to make. I'm going to be honest. The one I received as a gift came from a card store, a legitimate card store. Yeah. And I was not concerned with its authenticity. So I gave it a look and I used it to compare the one I got from, from eBay. And immediately I noticed a big difference between the two cards. Yeah. But without the comparison though, right? That's, without, that's, it's hard to discern which one's which. I'm going to be honest. Without the comparison, I would have accepted the uh, fake one for a real card until I saw a real one in person. Yeah, it made you say, hmm, though. It really did. So it made us go to this. The green dot test. We'll start there. Okay, so this is the back of the fake one. Okay? Yeah, that's clearly fake. And I want to point out here, there is way too many red dots inside. Inside the hot dog over here. Yep. Okay. The sausage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, right. It's a bratwurst. It is a, bra uh, a bratwurst. <laughs> and then the ring, the ring piece here. Okay, so this black ring piece is supposed to have at least, it has many identifying factors, but there's three in particular. There should be two flat spots, and it shouldn't look like it's part of the rest of the card. It should be a separate layer on top, okay. distinct. Now, the red dot test as well, it's kind of gone by the wayside. You see in here, there's too many red dots. And that's immediate, uh, sorry, that's an immediate cause for alarm. You either want four in the traditional L or, or you want none. Lately, some cards have been coming out none. Uh, even Urza Saga was the first. I believe yeah. that one had none. Guys' cradles often don't have the That's L. right. So it's not something you can trust. So this here. This is the real one. The sausage is a lot less redder. Yep. <laughs> it's got the flat spots here and here. And no red dots, right? Right. But also, the there's not like... The, the sausage looks correct. You know what I mean? There's not, yeah. it's not all spattered with red. Let's go back real quick. Yes, See, uh, it's noticeable, right? When you can go side to side. That's right. But if you don't have both of these, or a good, <laughs> if you're buying cards like this, you should have a loop. That's right. But, and this, for comparison, is a Chandra, I believe, right? Dressed yeah, to Kill. We right. had just sitting beside the pile. And she does have, you can see there, the four red dots, yeah. just barely. But there's your clean sausage. Good sausage as Always well. buy cards with clean sausage. That's cards. right. Don't get a dirty sausage card. So this is the front. Uh... No, don't say it. Guess in the comments right now. Okay. Real or fake. And here's the comparable. So you should be able to know by having the comparable. That's right. This is the fake. It is. You can see the, the color. They're not rosettes, but the color pattern through the black. That's because it's one, your biggest it's one layer. Yeah, but if you only had this one, right, you got to be careful. You do. Because those are pretty, like, they're catching up is the whole point of this video. That's right. This card, the original Judge promo came out this year, and there's you've already received this fake from Europe. Yep, this is the real in one. In the same year. But Sorry. yeah. Yeah, that's the real one. But this fake. Yes. You know you've already received. And, in, and to be honest, I don't know. I might, if I didn't have a real one to compare it to, I might not have even questioned its legitimacy. Slightly. The back, which we'll get to yes. in a sec, is yeah. I think the biggest giveaway. But yeah, it's it's getting hard to tell, right? It the is. rosettes, they're starting to really match up. Yep. And if they get that ink thicker, that's going to be a real tough call, in my opinion. Okay, cut to the hollow stamp now. Boop. Here we are. Okay. Looks legit. It does. Because it is. Whoa. 
So this is what we noticed. This is the fake, as you can see right here. This is the 8-bit hollow stamp. <laughs> it is a little digitized. Yeah. On that particular one, if you don't get the lighter uh, MTG logo, the 30th anniversary. Yeah. Guys, like if you only got these dark ones, that's hard to tell the difference, right? And I want to point out uh, a little a little thing here. You used to be able to tell by the hollow stamp whether or not it was raised. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. the, the counterfeits were raised Along on top. Along the edge here. This yeah. one felt phenomenal. And yeah. without a loop, it looked real. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. It looks here also like yours is very slightly played. Anyway. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fake is in mint shape. Oh, the what? fake's mint. Okay. Real or fake? Real. Yeah, it is. Okay, so here side by side, I mean, it starts to get pretty obvious. The Hooters face is, is, is not that right. That was all wrong. And look at even yeah. even the, uh, is a it's off a little bit. Just ever so slightly. Like are the eyes spread apart further on the, you know what I mean? Like it's something yeah. like that. It's very. The font is just slightly different. You noticed yep. on the artist names, right? But I mean, again, if you don't have this comparison to make. Honestly, it's tough. I thought it came from Commander Legends with the way the font looked. The Smothering Tithe in the top, yeah, we laughed about it. It's yeah. like, oh, it's faded, but it could be legit because it's like Commander Legends. That's right. But now all this print run, apparently, they did it right. Yep. Even a little edge wear just to try to trick you yep. into thinking it's real. All right, lastly, this in here was our biggest giveaway. Yeah. It almost looks not refined enough. You know what I mean? Like there's a little, a, like a grid in there. Oh, like it almost has like, a, it's like a tweed jacket. Like know? a tweed jacket. Yeah. Very nice. But this real one on the right, it, it's nice and smooth. It is. It, it just looks slightly high high quality. Even the real one on the, or sorry, the fake one on the left here. Yeah. When you shine the light on it, it seems very plasticky on the back. You know what I mean? Not like a dude man laminated. No. Dual land. No, no. But. <laughs> but like a fake card. A, a, almost fake card. But there's so many variations in all the printings they do now. There throughout is. Throughout all the sets. It's getting really, really difficult to keep uh, up with all this stuff. Now that we're looking at the back, another thing was the colors are a little bit wrong. Yeah, on magic, slightly. On... But there's always variations. There is. That, right? You've seen some that where the magic word is like purple. Almost, yeah. Right? And that border can be purple. Looking at you, Alternate Fourth Edition. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, we just want to make a video of it because it's one of the most convincing proxies we've seen in a while. Yep. Except for ones that have been sold online lately. By Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> what? So, yeah, even now, like this card, the proxy was made. The original was made. The proxy was made all in the same year. Um, and it's not a super expensive card. Not right? really. It's not like... A Power Nine or Guy's Cradle or something. No. It's like a, what, 70 to $100 US card yep. somewhere in there, and they're being proxy. But it's so playable. That's why. Yeah. So now you got a good proxy you can play with. Right? <laughs> it's like all the Power Nine and Dual Lands coming out soon. That's right. Um, That'll about do it, guys. That's just some things we wanted to show you for today. I do a Talking Heads video. Um, If you watch this long, uh, we did want to apologize in our bro opening yesterday. Check this out. This is one another strange oh, yeah. thing we noticed today in the chat. Uh, Elf, thanks for pointing this out. Laserbeak foil, okay, the token yep. that everybody loves. If it has Power Stone on the back, as shown here, it's a 73 cent card. That's right. This Laserbeak token, hmm. if it just has the MTG secret layer advertisement on the back, is worth $8.73. Because it's way rarer in foil. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> the price, if you really want a Laserbeak poop in the hoop token, just get the seven. That's right. Sent one get from the, the collector stone. boxes, right? <laughs> but hey, collectors are collectors, and yep. that's what's gonna happen. So yeah, I did price that incorrectly in yesterday's video. I just wanted to say a quick blurb about it, so everybody's not getting all hyped up. Yep. Uh, so that's it for today, guys. We're just doing a quick wrap up of the month. It was a super busy month. Everything shipped out. Jumpstart coming up tomorrow. Actually, maybe even later today. Yeah. Depends on Greg from Tabletop Giant. Maybe we'll get a visit from old Greggy Poo and open some Jumpstart. Do a couple jump starts, but we also are doing uh, some sweet Mythic Edition openings coming up real soon with yeah. some cool repacks. The breaks are going to be awesome this month because we're celebrating the month of giving. So yes, patron spots are not open. Don't try and join Patreon unless there is an open spot. That's right. Uh, we have to limit how many guys we have in there, and we're going to be thanking all the guys that have been with us all year long for sticking it through thick and thin, good sets, bad sets. So sub if you're new. Lots of cool openings coming up. We will talk to you guys. Thanks, guys. Okay, so one more time, Morgan. Is this real? Or no, that, is this fake? No, that's definitely fake. Those are definitely fake cards. But what if you can buy them from Europe? Mm, still fake.